Hi guys. This is D. Igorotech. Today, I will show you several methods on how to solve this film or a bug splat issue. I encountered this issue when I upgraded to Windows 11 and installed the latest version of Filmora. It happens every 10 minutes. The Filmora application suddenly closes or the bug splat will pop up. I'll show you very easy ways on how to solve this issue. Let's proceed. First method is we will edit the bug splat registry. After few hours of testing, this process solved my other laptop bug splat issue running Windows 11. Go to search. Type regedit. Choose and click the registry editor. Expand the key current user. Choose softwares. Expand the bug splat folder. Expand Wondershare Filmora X Win. Choose Wondershare Filmora X. Choose your version which in my case is 10.7.13. Delete all the files except for the file name default. Right click on it. Choose delete. Choose yes to confirm. Next is delete the folder named Wondershare Filmora X auto send. Yes to confirm. Now launch and test the Filmora X. Let's check the current version. You can see I'm running version 10.7.13. If that method did not work on your PC then test the next method. Disable hardware acceleration. Go to search. Type regedit. Choose and click the registry editor. Expand the key current user. Choose softwares. Right click on the bug splat folder. Choose delete. Click yes to confirm. Next is run the film or application. Go to file. Preferences. Go to Performance tab. Uncheck the 2 box to disable the hardware acceleration. Click OK. It will tell you that you need to restart Filmora for the changes to take effect. You may restart the Filmora or you can restart your computer. If that process did not solve your issue then proceed to the next method. Enable hardware acceleration. Launch the Filmora application. Go to Files. Preferences. Go to Performance tab. Enable Hardware Acceleration for Video Rendering and Enable Hardware Acceleration for Video Decoding. You may choose your graphics card you want to use. Click OK to apply. It will tell you that you need to restart the Filmora application for the changes to take effect. Close Filmora application. Now, right-click on Start, go to Settings. Choose Display. Scroll down and choose Graphics. If you don't see Filmora on the list then we need to add it. Click Browse. Locate the Filmora installation folder. If you use the default installation folder then follow this process. Open your drive C or your system drive. Go to Program Files. Scroll down and look for Wondershare folder. Open Wondershare Filmora. Choose Wondershare Filmora X. You can choose Wondershare Filmora if you are using the older versions. Click Add. Scroll down and look for the Wondershare Filmora X that we just added. Click Options. Choose High Performance. Click Save. Close the window then launch the Filmora application again. If that did not solve your issue then proceed to the next method. Enable Video Rendering and Disable Video Decoding. Launch the Filmora. Go to File. Preferences. Go to Performance tab. Now, enable the video rendering and uncheck to disable the video decoding. Click OK to apply. You need to restart again the application for the changes to take effect. If that did not solve your issue then proceed to the next method. Update or reinstall your graphics driver. Right click on this PC or my computer. Choose Manage. Go to Device Manager. Expand the display adapters. Let's first check the driver version. Right click on it the properties. Notice I'm running the most recent driver version. If you are running the old version or you haven't installed your graphics driver then that's probably the issue. To update the device driver. Right click on it, choose update driver. Choose search automatically for drivers. This will auto search and download if it finds a new driver version. In my case the best drivers are already installed. 
You may also try to reinstall your graphics driver but you have to manually download it first from your device manufacturer website. To uninstall, right click on it then choose uninstall driver. After restart then install the new driver you have downloaded. If that did not solve your issue then proceed to the next method. Check for Windows Update. Go to Search. Type Windows Update. Choose Windows Update Settings. To check for new Windows updates, click Check for Updates. If new updates has been detected then it will automatically download and install. After the Windows Update process then test the Filmora again. If that did not solve your issue the proceed to the next method. Perform a disk cleanup. Go to search. Type disk cleanup. Choose disk cleanup app. Drive C is already selected so click OK. This will delete all the temporary files that may causing the issue. You may choose all the option then click OK. You need to confirm that this will permanently delete all the selected files. Click on delete files. Wait for it to finish the process. Once completed then test the Filmora again. Lastly, you can update all your device drivers to the latest one including your graphics driver. Open your web browser and search for driver booster download. Choose the first option. Choose free download. Wait for it to download the executable file. Let's check the downloaded file. Double click on it to install. Click install. We don't need the advanced system care so choose no thanks then click next. Wait for it to finish the installation process. A shortcut icon will be automatically created on desktop. We don't need to subscribe so choose no thanks. Uncheck learn more online then click scan now. A new window will pop up. This will scan for outdated drivers. We don't have much to update since I already run this application before, I just uninstall the graphics driver for this video purpose. If you haven't updated your drivers or outdated then definitely there's a lot of drivers need to be updated. To update all drivers, click on update now. This will auto download and install all the outdated drivers. This may takes time depends on the outdated drivers and also your internet speed. Wait for it to finish the process. I will fast forward the video. You can see all the drivers are up to date. You can scroll down and browse all the drivers. Now, restart your computer then test the Filmora again. Additional tips. Avoid versions 10.7.8. I suggest you to use lower or higher versions. Also you can reinstall the Filmora. Finally, if you still have some issues, you can download the latest version from their official website. Well, that's all for today's demonstration and I really hope you liked this video. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and click on the notification bell for more amazing tutorials. Thank you and see you in the next video.